Hello and guten tag from Lutz Stahlhagel. Um, yesterday I had a go in my Tiger 1 tank and in my T3485 and I made some nice gameplay footage and I want to show it to you. So I hope you have fun. At the first part of the footage um, we are at the Ash River map and um, as always in the beginning of a match at Ash River some players are trading shots at the northern parts of the map so they are trading shots from hill to hill trying to avoid that the enemy team is capturing point A or whatever point and uh, as you can see the enemy uh, already got into point A and is capturing it um, actually an enemy T50 made a go for it and uh, had a nice run and uh, was able to capture point A before we were able to distract him or to avoid him to do that at this point, however, I did not want to go down there already because I had a strong position here. I angled my armor very well to, uh, towards the enemy and was able to kill or destroy like two to three opponents from this position. And uh, after I eventually did that, I want to go down and recapture the point. So first um, kill enemy threats and then go down and recapture it. That was my plan. First of all I need to make sure that um, all enemy guns uh, were disabled that can actually harm me. Uh, like the KV-2s and the SU-152 um, big howitzer guns. So I, tr uh, I killed the SU-152 already and now I'm trying to kill the KV-2. But um, IS-1 appeared so um, I was thinking okay I will um, take out or try to take out the IS-1 as well so that all enemy guns or all enemy dangerous armor is uh, disabled so I can go down there without um, being threatened by uh, these well armored and well armed tanks. I scored a hit there on the IS-1 and he was thinking oh I need to retreat before I get uh, destroyed at this moment and then a poor T-3485 appeared and my gun new range and uh, that was it for him. I was then waiting for the uh, IS-1 to reappear after I killed the T-3485 and there he goes. I tried to aim for the turret armor because it's only a hundred millimeter thick instead of the hull armor and uh, yeah he f uh, sh fired a shot at me and I, uh, I bounced it and then I fired at his turret armor and penetrated it and instantly killed the IS-1. So I was thinking all enemy threats were disabled or destroyed. I can go down there and recapture point A. I have already seen that uh, only a KV-1 is inside the cap circle so it's not that uh, big threat to me so I really was looking forward to fight this guy because um, I can never well kill this guy with one shot but the KV-1 um, appeared to be a, a tough nut to crack as you might see here. I scored a very solid hit on the turret front of the KV-1 that needed to penetrate in my opinion but the next few shots were not that lucky. I uh, aimed for the turret and only hit the side of the turret so it bounced and uh, the further hits um, we're not that lucky e either, so um, I tried to hit him once again, again on the turret front, but it did not penetrate again. And then I said, okay, let's uh, leave him alone for my uh, companion. I was then focusing on the T-3457 on the hill and uh, on the T-3485 on the left side on the hill. Um, and I already man managed to bounce one shot from the T-3485 to my left. The KB-1 got killed by my companion here and I realized then, oh wait, there's another KB-1 inside the camp circle. I aimed for his turret armor at the front and killed But Then the T-3485 on the top of the hill managed to sneak a shot into my side armor and uh, yeah, incinerate or blow up my armor rack. I then had a go in my T-3485 and was not expecting anything or any stupid, but um, look what happens here. This is when War Thunder Physics strikes. 
Um, but then happened was really rarely happens. Two of my fellow teammates were thinking, oh, let's help this guy. And um, yeah, I really have uh, have to say thank you to you both, um, Pete, and uh, yeah, look how they did it. Yeah, thank you to you both again, and um, yeah, then the match could go on. So right after they put me back on my feet, um, I sneaked up the hill on the south part of Poland map and tried to snipe the enemy and um, give some side shots or some side um, support to my fellow IS-1 mate um, over there. The IS-1 was... Um, taking all the fire from the enemy. There was a um, Stuck 3 and uh, two Tiger tanks. And I really tried to kill the Tiger tanks first, um, especially the one um, right next to me, because he was threatening my teammate um, the most. Unfortunately, he was hiding behind some debris and I really have to shoot my way through it. But I then scored a striking hit on the Tiger and blow up his ammo rack, so they killed him instantly. I was then thinking what to pick next and I thought let's focus on the Tiger tank. The Tiger tank is very well armored on the front, you already know that. And I then had a clear side shot. So I took my chance and picked this side shot. The first shots uh, went into his tracks, so I had to aim it a little bit higher. I was aiming for his ammo rack on the side. Um, in my other video I showed you that the side armor or the side of the target tank is consisting like only out of the ammo rack. So if you are able to hit the target tank at the side, you will be able to blow up his ammo rack um, nearly every time. Unfortunately my IS-1 companion got uh, killed there by the Stück. And now the focus was on me with my weak armor. I had to compete with the Stück. And yeah, he set me on fire. I did not have any fire extinguishers at this moment, so I could not fire back. And then he killed me. So that was it for me in my tank for this match. But oh, wait, we have a plane left. So. Now it's time for a little bit of vengeance. We can pick our targets um, on the ground and they have really no real chance to defend themselves. So what I did here with my Yak 9T, I first picked the anti-aircraft tank down there, destroyed him, and then I was free to engage um, the Stuck and the Tiger that we've seen in the last part of the tank footage. I was thinking they had to be like north, northwest um, to the cap circle, but they managed to get into the cap circle really, really quick. So um, the Stück was already there, and I took my first strafing run, and uh, yeah, it really worked out. I had hit the Stück very good and set him on fire, but he was very quick on the fire extinguisher, so he did not burn down. What to do when you miss or when your first strafing on fails? Do another and another and another until the enemy or the hostile team is destroyed. So I took my next chance and I really had a good rear shot. And I set him on fire again. But again he was very quick on his fire extinguisher. So I did have no real chance that he was burning down. So I had to pick another strafing run. The next strafing run was more successful and um, I was climbing at a very steep angle so I can really hit this guy on the roof and do the most damage and yeah luckily we then got a striking hit on the roof on uh, the tank and killed the crew or whatever I don't really know 
I don't care. And then I only had four rounds left uh, for my cannon. I'm thinking, oh, these shots have to be, uh, these shots need to count. And I then aimed for the side roof armor of the hull and scored a striking hit on the Amorak and blow him up instantly. Unfortunately, we lost all our tanks at this moment, and um, so me and my teammate uh, were the only threat to the enemy team. And I needed to kill the anti aircraft tank there first um, to uh, rip off my wing, and that was it for me for this match. And in the last part of this gameplay footage, I had a go in my Tiger again. Uh, Ash River again, and this time I was more successful. I was able to support my team there by capping um, point C, and then <laughs> something something really weird happened. At this point, we tr uh, managed to capture point C, and I was thinking, oh, let's um, go up this hill here and recapture point B, so we have full superiority and. Uh, win the match like really quick and uh, yeah then two wild T-34s appeared and uh, tried to kill me. The first one tried to get around on my left flank but I managed to kill him and the second tried to ram me or I don't know and face hug me. Uh, he bounced the first shot from my lower glasses and then I managed to plant one uh, really big shot into his side uh, turret armor and blow him up. Sorry, no tiger for you for breakfast. So let's move on. When I was crawling up the hill, I was thinking um, where to expect um, the most danger. On the map, there was no sign of enemy tanks uh, to my right flank. So I was focusing on the spawn point to my left flank and really turned my turret um, to point B and then to the left flank to engage the enemy right on. But as it appears, the main threat was already to my right flank and then uh, spotted a T-34-85 and a T-34-57. The T-34-57 instantly started to shoot at me and I managed in time to rotate my turret so my armor was blocking his shot um, time after time. I angled my armor very well and only showed my turret so the T-34-57 had no real chance to penetrate my armor and I couldn't pick my target very well so I was aiming for his lower hole and then managed to put one right into him and kill him instantly. The other T-34-85 managed to get around me on the right flank and uh, put some really solid hit into my right turret and uh, kill my gunner and jam my turret wing. But my teammates uh, were able to kill this guy and I was thinking, oh, there's an IS-1 coming to my right flank, let's head on, to, head on to B and protect myself. But then, yeah, fortune strikes and an IL-2 got me really good. I then just hopped in into my BF-109, one of my favorite planes, and tried to give some air support. Killing the IL-2 was my intention first, but then I spotted, um, oh wait, there's a big bird over there. Let's take care of, um, of him first. When it came closer, I realized it is a B-26, and I took some side shots, and then immediately went down to avoid his tail gunner. I picked up some speed to match his speed, and was following him. I um, was taking some distance shots here that might have damaged his um, tail um, for the first time. And then I was avoiding his tail gunner and flying beneath him. If you're fighting a B-25 or a B-26, um, stay below him because he has no um, belly gunner. So just stay below him and raise your nose up and then pick your shots really carefully. I managed to damage his tail there and was breaking off because his tail gunner was going to nail me. But then I realized, okay, he's going down. And uh, the rest of the match was yeah, hunting anti-aircraft guns and hunting artillery 
because the match was nearly over and I just want to score some more points. Um, that was it for today and I really hope you enjoyed this gameplay footage. I will prepare something uh, more for you guys and uh, yeah, do your best on the battlefield. See ya!